Hello everyone, I'm Silent Death, and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. Today, we have this here, and a whole bunch of data to collect from around Kerbin. So we're going to be using all of these missions to test out this little S SSTO design. A single stage to orbit a design. I've taken off the rocket that goes on back here just so that we have enough fuel to do the various things and because it might snap off once we land in some of the bumpy terrain that we're going to have to land to do some of these things like take a surface sample. Now then we'll just go ahead and fire this up but this has four of these new turbojet engines a bunch of air intakes, a single cargo bay that is currently loaded with extra fuel. Some RCS thrusters and monopellet. Then some more rocket fuel, regular fuel, and of course more rocket fuel. I think we'll need to unlock the atomic engines before this become an appropriate SSTO. But right now we're doing kind of low altitude performance testing and landing in rough terrain testing, I guess. It also has this kind of little sloped wings at the tips here to supposedly help keep it stable. Let's just crank everything up. Got the brakes on. And away we go. Something seems to be going wrong with Kerbal Engineer. I don't know what. But we'll have to figure that out later. Whoa, okay, that's a bad thing. Hmm, let me add some struts. And maybe see if I can fix Kerbal Engineer. Here we go again. This time I'm going to switch to fine control so I don't pull up quite so hard. And I've added a little bit of strength there. So let's, I guess, go full speed. Lots of smoke from hot rockets. Letting our engines get spun up before we release the brakes. There we go. Woo! Just fly off that. Now our first step is going to get the stuff that's low over in this direction. We have a couple of EVA reports from the surface and one a surface sample. They're close enough together that we can grab them all pretty quickly. But we do have to land. I assume we can actually do that. I am using Near now, which is a simpler version of Ferrum Aerospace. And I'm using this because the controls of the vanilla flight model is not very good in terms of ailerons and stuff. Once you get above about 20,000 feet, things just go to crap. But already we're at a very high speed. We can probably go higher if we really wanted to. Though I'm not sure that I do. Just trying to get lined up here a little bit better. plane does not want to cooperate. Going 
going into a terrible spin. Let's turn off that. See if that'll level us out. Come on. There we go. Nope. Nope. Maybe. No. Maybe. A little bit of thrust. What is your problem? Let's turn on RCS. Maybe that'll help. It's like, it doesn't know which way it wants to go. Oh, I guess we went maybe a little bit high. There we go. We're starting to get some traction now. Maybe I wasn't paying attention to our altitude enough. That could have been the problem. Uh, it still won't turn, though. Here we go. We can glide quite away with this. If we can get turned. How far are we? Oh, we still got a ways to go, but... At the rate we're going, it looks like we're going to overshoot a little bit. So let's get down into the deeper atmosphere quickly. Looks better. Whoa! Okay, that happened again. I guess I gotta be careful about pulling up too fast. Well, let me be back once I get landed. We overshot a little bit and had to turn around and drive back. But now that we're here, Bob's going to hop out and grab a sample. Take a service sample. And we've already got an eBay report here. Then we will hop back in. And drive to the other ones that are nearby. Starting with this one. Then we'll grab those EVA reports, EVA reports and probably head down to get this temperature stuff. Might grab that too. Depends on how much fuel we have. Go up and then around, but this one's pretty high. It'd be hard to turn. Let's see how that goes. But let me grab those and I'll be right back.
and after that very, very, very long flight with a few technical difficulties, we managed to make it back. Nine science in the vessel itself. We recovered just about all of our funds, just a little bit from the fuel, so 100% of value from recovering everything. No experience gained. Done. And 18 things they're going to pay us for. So 104 and 55, 11, 28, 11, 28, 11, 28, 11, 28, 60 and 40, 10, 20, 10, 20, 10, 20, 89 and 55, 13, 28, 60, 40, 8, 20, 8, 20, 8, 20, 11, 14, 11, 14, 11, 41, and that is all of them. Let's see. So we're up to 600,765 science. We're going to take the science and rush right towards the atomic rocketry. And then... I think we'll pick up this one. Which leaves us with not enough to do anything else. Large control... Advanced Aerodynamics. I think we might want to go ahead and upgrade this so that we can buy more things. And we're going to take the Explore Minmus thing. Visual survey. Position a satellite over Minmus. Hmm. Probably not going to do that one. Scans of the moon. Those are kind of difficult. Well, relatively. To death something. Well, landed. Okay, I can pull that off pretty easily. Rescue somebody. It's not very good money. Hmm. No, it's not really worth it. We're going to get these for later. Just to go ahead and get them out of there. Visual surveys. That is a ton of money. Even if we put on the surface, from the surface. I'm going to go ahead and grab it. We have 24 years to complete it. So maybe we'll get lucky. Hmm. Let me make sure that I picked up all of the science stuff that I wanted. We do have that 14 science, which would take us probably close to that. Then we might be able to do something like take a surface sample or somewhere around here to get the rest of it. Not that one, not that one. Don't know if any of these have what I'm looking for. Maybe I've already bought it. No. I'm looking for this. Okay, I already got it. I think I'm probably going to fast forward a little bit and see if we can get some better missions for Minmus. Because I want to head there next time. Anyway, that is going to be it for this episode. Like if you like. Subscribe if you're not. Leave a comment if you have anything to say. I do read all the comments. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.